hey guys now let us discuss about the problem on multiple plate clutch so the question is here as 100 kilowatt is transmitted at 3000 rpm by a multiple plate disc friction clutch the plate is oil and have the friction surface of steel and phosphor bronze alternatively mu equals to that is coefficient friction 0.07 and the axial intensity of pressure is not to exceed 1.5 bar so external radius is 1.25 times the internal radius and the that is r1 by r2 and the external radius is 12.5 cm determine the number of plates needed to transmit the required torque assessed assumed uniform wear theory so let us start with the data so we have following data 100 kilowatt is transmitted power transmitted equals to 100 kilowatt that is 100 into 10 is to 3 watt the next is speed that is 3000 rpm and the next is mu that is coefficient of friction that is 0.07 and the axial intensity of pressure that is p max equals to 1.5 bar that is equivalent to 1.5 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square the next one is time is external radius is 1.25 times that is external radius is r1 equals to 1 is 1.25 times the internal radius that is r2 equals to you can say r2 by r1 equals to 1 by 1.25 or r1 by r2 equals to 1.25 the next is external radius that is r1 equals to 12.5 cm which is equivalent to 0.125 m that is into 10 raised to minus 2 so the solution is now power transmitted by clutch can be written as power equals to formula 2 pi and t upon 60 where we have the power as 100 into 10 raised to 3 and n as 3000 so from here we get t equals to 318 newton meter the next is maximum pressure intensity maximum pressure intensity that is p max can be written as c by r minimum since we know r minimum is 0.1 we can directly find and p max is 1.5 times 10 raised to 5 from here let it write 1.5 into 10 raised to 5 and r minimum is 0.1 so we get a value of c as 1500 so we found t and c transmitted by clutch on the torque transmitted by the clutch can be given as multiplet clutch that is t equals to half n mu 
W R1 plus R2 here W that is exile axial load on the friction plate can be given as W equals to 2 pi C R1 minus R2 where we know the value of C that is 1 phi triple zero now just we need to place it inside here we need to find the number of plates and we know the T 318 we have found it and we also knew the mu value 0 0.07 now here since we know the r1 and r2 value we can find the w that is two three five six point one nine that is the values are correspondingly zero point one two five and zero point one so writing the complete equation we got 318 equals to a half n 0 0.07 into 2356.19 into 0 0.125 plus 0 0.1 and so we need to find the n so the value after putting in calculator we get n equals to 17.18 which is equivalent to 18 we need to take this 18 only not 16 or 17 just extra it is 18 so enough pressure is applied so basically this is the value by calculation but so this is the number of plates required to transmit motion but in general we take n plus 1 that is n plus 1 18 plus 1 that is equals to 19 plates so the 19 is the answer